Hello everybody. Today we're going to be using our hand to create a picture of a swan. At home, you need to get yourself a blank sheet of paper and something to write with. I'm gonna be using a pencil, so if I make a mistake, I can erase it. What you're going to do is turn your paper sideways like this or up and down and you're going to put your hand on the left side of the paper, not in the middle, not on the right, but on the left hand side. Then what you're going to do is hold your pencil nice and straight and you're going to trace around your hand. Notice that my hand and fingers are closed. They are not open like this. So I'm gonna go once again, just to make sure I got all my lines. And then I'm gonna stop at my wrist. You should have some kind of shape like this. Once you have that done, you're gonna start at the bottom of your hand. Notice I turned my paper this way. Now I'm gonna come up like this and like that. Once I do that, I'm going to then start right here and make another line that comes up and over and stops. I have an open space right here and that's gonna be for my beak. To do my beak, I'm gonna go straight and then up and connect. Now all I need to do is make a line that goes up like this and then over like that. I have one more line or a couple more lines to, to go and then my swan will be all set. Swans have a nice black marking around their eye. In order to make that, you're gonna start right here and go around and down. Now I need to make a line for my swan's mouth and a circle for his eye. Make sure to put the circle inside of your shape that you made here. One more thing to go and that's his wing. When swans are swimming they tuck their wing to the side. So we're gonna make a backwards letter C and then continue it and then a zigzag line and connect it. Now obviously our swan needs somewhere to swim so what we're going to do is make some waves. So starting at his tail feathers we're just going to make some wavy water and then a little bit of waves here. The good part about this picture is it doesn't take long to color because swans are usually white. So what we're going to do is color in our marking around his eye with our black. You can use a colored pencil or a crayon or markers, whatever you have at home. I'm also going to make just one dot like that for his nostril. For his beak, I'm gonna use an orange colored pencil because they have a nice vibrant orange beak. When I colored it in, it made it hard for his mouth to be seen. So I'm gonna go back over his mouth and make it nice and dark. And lastly, all I need to do is color the water. So I'm gonna color around my swan all blue. Don't be afraid to use different types of blue. Right now I have a light blue, but maybe I will grab my dark blue and also put some blue in the water. 
if it helps, you can always go around your swan with some black to make him stand out. And there you have it. There's a swan using your hand. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.